How's it going, everyone? This is Wimbo. Today we are going to continue doing our lighting series in Blender. Basically, what I'm doing is to coming from a photographer perspective, trying to explain lighting, how light works in the real world, and then actually let it. You probably are a graphic designer or you're a CGR artist.、Uh, as a beginners, you don't know really how. Studio lighting works in in real life because you never work in the studio and as a photographer and it will be really hard to, for you guys to understand. Oh, I really wanted to to know、uh, studio lighting, but I don't know how and why. Then here we go. So we are gonna talk about it today、uh, in this video.、Uh, as you can see here. Well, I got a couple of images from、um, uh, in the internet just showing the topic about umbrella today. So as you can see, umbrella can come in with、uh, kind of different types. You know, for example, this one, I this one actually is a kind of probably is one type umbrella, but it can use in three ways. So as you can see here, you if you put a flash or a strobe lighting over here, and you you bounce a light in here, and then it's gonna come back like a, using as a reflective way to just. And reflecting the、uh, the light coming in, and this one is also a, a diffusion、uh, material. So basically, you can shoot light, and actually the light is gonna come through this material,、uh, and actually gonna make the light a little bit softer. Okay, so this one it just differences between these two. This one is just a a little bit matte, a white, and this one is just gonna be a little bit a silver, a reflective silver. So this is kind of a very popular umbrella that come with different sizes, and that's that's about it. So how this thing works, as you can see here,、uh, that's the what I just talk about the three different ways to use the umbrella in the studio. But as you can see here, there is one、uh, umbrella. It's a little bit shallow, and this one is called deep umbrella. So they have a little bit. Differences when they control the light when you're using, although you're you're both using the the the, the reflective way, just shooting light and the light is gonna come out. But I we I gonna to、uh, I'm going to dis,、uh, explain this to you later on.、Uh, and last time we in our our videos we were talk about soft box and umbrella. So this is called umbrella, and what they're doing right now is using shoot through. Uh, method to actually producing a、uh, light. So,、uh, why you shoot through it?、Uh, basically, very simple.、Uh, These the the flash, the surface of the flash is very small. It's very small,、uh, rectangular right here. Once you put the light over here, it becomes. This has become the light source. It actually become bigger. All right. So the 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 light how light works. The bigger light it is. The soft light is going to be, so that's why we're using umbrella. And I will make another videos talking about light quality as a topic,、uh, specifically to show you guys how this thing works. And there, there's the, the the market for modifiers out there is super saturated, and there are a lot of business trying to let、uh, beginners to purchase something new every years. But honest. Uh, light is just light. You, if you know how it works, you don't need to panic to buying all the latest modifier anywhere. For this one, it's so stupid.、Uh, I'm not saying the, the the brand is anything. It's just it's just something that、uh, the 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 brand is just trying to come out something new and to replace the traditional shoot through umbrella. It's essentially the same thing, and you don't need to do that. And they're just trying to creating something different to let you purchase buy.、Uh, that's just one thing. I, I'm hoping you guys pay attention if you you are also. Interested to get into studio light as a photographer,、uh, then just don't just, just know light first, and you and later on to purchase、uh, the the stuff you need to do. And then let's go to the part two. That as you can see here, I'm quickly build some light over here because the light really works better when you, in the dark scenes, and also the 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 color actually gonna show off a little bit better in the dark scenes. And、uh, that's why I use a blue light, just kind of demonstrating what's going on. So this is a pretty basic, you know, a plane, and we got some lights going on. So as you can see here, I'm trying to demonstrating 
differences the how light works and if so in blender you know if i'm actually just creating a half dome of a geometry shape you know as as you can see here i'm actually already have a a square light over here right is the area light so how it works you just imagine that this is the flash a light head actually this is going to come out a light like this and then what I did, did is I'm actually uh, utilizing a, a translucent uh, materials to to creating this uh, umbrella half dome uh, shape and put over it so you can actually let the light shoot through it. So let me put it back. Yeah, so let me put it back. So is it working like umbrella? You know, shoot through umbrella. So this is how it works. And as you can see here, the light. It's gonna come out like halfway, right? It's pretty bigger dome of light, pretty soft. And this guy, another one, this is just the same thing. I put a light, but I directly shoot in through the the uh, the umbrella. But I have a, a a material, just a standard white material, to trying to uh, to reflecting some light uh, when you actually shoot through it. Right, it is shoot to reflecting it, so it's pretty pretty simple, and uh, it's it's just like the you, when you're using an umbrella, you shoot shoot over it and then reflecting light over it, and the next one, this one's it's just a little bit different. It's, this is called the deep umbrella, right? So we just uh, look at it earlier. The only difference is is this one have a little bit deeper and uh, uh, the lens and also. Uh, the light is going in there. The only difference is, as you can see here, um, hopefully, let me get this thing bigger and let's do this thing run it real quick. Uh, so, it's basically what's the difference is you can see here the light is coming out. It's relatively wider, right, for the standard umbrella. But for this guy, it's the deep umbrella. So, it has kind of level sense of level of control that the beam of light coming out it doesn't really open up that much that's the only difference is when you purchase uh, umbrella modifiers in in in, uh, in real life as well so a lot of people or recent years people are saying well buy the the deep umbrella it have better control it's really good for lighting than anything well the the real difference is not that huge. So if you really need some control to do that, why do you just buy a soft box or octa box? You know, this is just just the selling point to let you to purchase something that isn't doesn't have that too much effect. And for for this shooting through umbrella, yeah, they have a little bit wider, bigger dome of light. I mean, yeah, this one doesn't seem like have a control. As you can see, the light has actually come out quite open, right? It's acting like a soft box. And uh, this one, if we shoot through over here, yeah, a little bit, you know, of control. If I have a deeper umbrella, it just got better control. That's it. That's the only differences over here for umbrella. So that's also one of the reasons that umbrella is the the most popular mod light modifiers in the photography and also the cheapest one. Uh, the one we have down here is this is just the the spotlight for in the in Blender. So basically, again, so you if you want to uh, having the similar light control, do not build anything like this, you know, ever in in the Blender. Although these these are probably more accurate. Compared to what we use for for our photography to do the lighting, but it, you don't have to do that. It's wasting a lot of time and energy to do so. So the only thing we would need to do here for the light spotlight, we can just changing the radius to getting the light harder and soft. So like I said, if I do this here, I even put a radius at like zero. You can you can see a pretty harsh uh, light. Edge on here, and is I mean, is, this is not physically possible because you cannot make a radius zero, and they have some light coming out. So it's just uh, if you actually drag it up, it actually become more smooth. And uh, also the the spot size is the is the beam of light, how bigger, how wide it is going to be. Uh, but pay attention uh, on the beam. If I actually close down the brightness 
of this beam of light that actually decrease. So that's that's kind of like a very basic light that you can use in the spotlight in Blender, but it's very useful for you. So I just want to utilizing this video to really demonstrating uh, how Umbrella, this modifier, works in the real world. And if you are designers and uh, and uh, also a uh, uh, other uh, creatives in different industry don't know too much about lighting, I think this video is going to help you to understand a little bit better uh, when you actually use a light modifier in in real life. Uh, anyway, so this is uh, all about. Uh, thank you for your list. Uh, for, thank you for watching. And uh, this channel is all about photorealistic product rendering. And if you really also into this in this um, genre and, uh, and consider, please consider subscribe my channel. And uh, Otherwise, we can just hang out on the Instagram. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.